Yeah, bear with me because things are really loud out here. But let me give you a sense. They're burning the midnight oil here, not only with the rallies, but with the negotiations. They're going to go all night if they have to. Affected, we're talking about schools as far as San Dimas and Glendora to West Covina and Covina. Watch. Students leave Sierra Vista Middle School at the end of the day. At about the same time, Covina Valley Unified Teachers picket at district headquarters. They are ready to strike starting tomorrow morning if last-ditch negotiation efforts don't result in an agreement between the district and Covina Unified Education Association teachers. Our bargaining team is ready to go past midnight into the wee hours of the morning if there is any chance to settle this and avert a strike. Parents at schools sending us photos of padlocked fences and chairs stacked in large rooms as the district prepares to continue holding classes by grouping students together in larger rooms with substitutes and putting middle and high schools in modified shorter schedules, which worries parents. Finals are coming, so we really don't need a we don't need the stress, the pressure. The we just got out of COVID, and now we're going to go into a strike. Yeah, I know that that's what really hurts us. What is the one sticking point at this point? The single largest sticking point is the health care. The district wants to place a limit on benefits for certain teachers. And the only offers that the district has made around salary are only open if we take the hit on health care. District officials say they are offering highly competitive salaries, but will not comment on camera. A statement reads in part, they have committed significant time and energy and developed contingency plans in order to ensure that instruction continues. They're gonna be in huge bunches and not doing education. For our middle school students, they're gonna have one hour combined of English and math put together. One thing that uh, suffer most is the, the kids. So I hope they will solve the problem. And again, we're live here. Negotiations continue tonight, but if they do not reach an agreement tonight, this is going to happen tomorrow. And parents, pay attention because one of the things that will change is the schedule, the times kids go in and out of school. So everybody waiting, we will keep you updated live here in Covina, where again, negotiations continue. People hoping for the best. We'll have to see what happens. I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you guys in the studio.